as I'm sure you will agree, there's been so much change in the last 20 years that you wouldn't be surprised to hear that the two dates I've chosen are in the recent uh, t uh, time frame, 2005 and 2018. Why 2005? In 2005, Crane forever changed the vernacular and the language of our industry. It was the year in which Crane introduced motion micro-optics. At that time, a motion micro-optic security thread was the first time ever the industry had seen something that we very casually and commonly, frequently referred to as micro-optics, micro-lens-based security for the public. Very, very much for the public, and huge emphasis on this. From a 2011, Keysing Technologies, which is quite a respected voice in our industry on banknotes and security features, called motion micro-optics the most disruptive innovation since the turn of the century. Within those same short years, the entire first series of the Euro issued. And in the voice of that one particular pundit for the industry, they were saying, keep a watch on motion micro-optics. And what followed was a number of central banks adopting the technology, about 150 denominations worldwide, and as I mentioned, 50 uh, countries. Let's move along to 2018. Three events I'll touch on very briefly. Why 2018? Well, in 2018, it was the last time that the Central Bank of the United States issued its report on the longevity, the average circulation life of the banknotes in circulation. And with such an international audience, you probably would have thought, and I've already mentioned motion, I would have shown you the $100 bill on the stage. Indeed, that's what I first had when I was crafting these slides. I took that away. I said, no, actually, the technological marvel is just as equally impressive. The $1 banknote, the workhorse banknote, lowest denomination, an astounding circulation life of 6.6 .6 years. That was 2018, so we cannot say that COVID has reduced the transactional velocity of banknotes. No, this is 2018, well before we even talked about COVID. Durability is part of that. That's really in our DNA as paper makers. We have that talent resident in, of course, Massachusetts, where this particular banknote paper is produced, but additionally in Tumba. In 2018, we opened uh, the Malta, Crane Currencies Malta, banknote printing works. The most modern, of course, at its time, it was the first commercial banknote printing works to be erected in four decades. We are now completely tied together with a company called Crane Payment Innovations, or CPI. CPI is the world, by far the world leader in point-of-sale retail cash validation. Lowering the cost of cash can sometimes mean moving a human cashier into a more higher value-adding positioning, leaving the counting in the sorting to machines. 150 million transactions validated every single day around the world on average. It's an estimate. CPI product is in use, validating banknotes around the world. And now, the originator of banknotes and those that read it, not at the central bank level, but on the street level, in the real world of commerce, is now together.